You're online gaming all the time, and that's why GameRanks wants to bring you 10 tips for faster online gaming connection and pings. Ping! Sorry, I had to do that. Number 10, a power line adapter. We're going to detail some great tips on how to get the best out of your Wi-Fi router, but sometimes it's just not possible to use it. And it's also not super fun wiring the entire house when you don't already have a built-in network. Fortunately, someone came up with an amazing idea that plugs directly into your home's electrical outlets and uses the wiring of your house as a network. And don't tell me your game console or PC isn't near an electrical outlet. We actually included a link in the description for you to check one out. They're not that expensive and they work really well. Number 9. Download apps for your smartphone to check the signal strength at different locations, such as Wi-Fi Sweet Spots or Network Analyzer on iOS. Or if you use Android, Wi-Fi Signal Strength or Wi-Fi Analyzer. You can use these apps to assist yourself when you're completing tip number 8, which is find the best spot for your router. Hint, it's not the floor. Wi-Fi routers bounce signals all over the house. They bounce off walls, some signals manage to get through walls while some bounce off and create the ability to connect in various areas in the room. It's actually a lot more complex than we think of it. But putting it on the floor drastically hinders your ability to make a connection with your devices. Number seven, close all downloads and even if possible devices other than what you're trying to do now. So let's say you've gotten online to do some death matches in a first person shooter. You wanna close up all your downloads, close up any applications that might be using the internet, look at your phone, go, hey, time for airplane mode, and just maximize the single connection between your PC or console and the game's multiplayer servers. I promise, if you're on an internet connection that you feel like you need to change something about, you'll most likely see a big difference thanks to this. Number six, parallel match your antennas. Okay, so how Wi-Fi works is that a device works best when its antenna is parallel to the antenna on the router. So if you've got two antennas on a router, you don't want them both facing up. You want one of them facing sideways. And it really varies what direction the antenna in your device is pointing. You may have built your gaming PC, and it may not be facing the direction necessary to get a great signal out of a vertical antenna. Conversely, nowadays people like to put their game consoles vertically. And not to mention all of those you game on tablets and phones. Having one of your Wi-Fi antennas straight up and one parallel to the ground is going to desperately help you because who knows what direction the antenna in your phone is facing. Number five, finding the right Wi-Fi channel. People have zero idea how important this is. There's 11 Wi-Fi channels. And if you're on the same channel as one of your neighbors, it could seem like your internet isn't working at all depending on where their Wi-Fi router is placed. So either set your router for auto automatic so that it can attempt to detect other routers channels or even better run an app on your phone that can find out which channel is safest to use. Number four, DIY antenna boosting with aluminum foil or cans. This sounds dumb, but it works. It actually is proven to work. Some people have even created devices made of aluminum that are ready made for boosting the signal of an antenna. It might sound a little hillbilly, but putting a can on those antennas can actually make a difference. Now, it's not going to make an unusable Wi-Fi connection usable, but it definitely will boost it a bit. Number three, install the DDWRT firmware on your router. DDWRT is kind of like a game mod for your router. Now you have to make sure that your router is supported by the firmware. Obviously don't install firmware that isn't going to work on your router because you'll be screwed. But using this firmware, you'll be able to do some significantly more powerful things with your router. You'll be able to directly change the frequency, you can change the power level, and a few other things that some manufacturers just don't let you have the access to. It's seriously one of the best ways to enhance your internet connection and therefore your gaming connection. Number two, get rid of interference. And that means both from objects and other appliances in the household. Do you ride a bike? Don't put it in front of the router. Have a huge metal trophy collection? Don't use it to hide your Wi-Fi router. Have your router in the kitchen? Maybe don't put it so close to the microwave. Anything that emits or could significantly disrupt radio waves or really any kind of waves, you should be careful of the placement of in regards to your router. And finally, number one, set your router to reboot on a schedule. Did you know that somewhere around 80% of tech support calls for routers are fixed by rebooting the router? That's because there's various things that can happen that basically just throw them out of whack. Scheduling a reboot at around 3 o'clock in the morning is going to keep your router fresh. 
If your router seems to not be working as good as it should be, there's a fairly large chance that it can be fixed simply by rebooting it. And a lot of people wait days and days and days call into tech support, waste a ton of their own time, and get told to reboot their router. Why not just have the damn thing do it itself every morning? Maintaining a fresh connection will absolutely improve your experience on not just gaming, but all of your internet applications. Do you have any other Wi-Fi tips? Leave us a comment. Also, let us know if you try any of them and what your results are. Don't forget to click the like button either. It helps us a whole lot. And subscribe if you haven't already, because we upload videos daily, and the best way to see them first is a subscription. We thank you a whole lot for watching this video, and of course, we will see you next time here on Game Ranks.